So you had a stint in politics? Stint, yeah? Oh yes, I, I, as a girl, I've been a local councillor in Westport. I served 20 years as a member of the local authority. And uh, the last term of their town council, I had the honour as a community person, as an independent person, uh, heading the poll in Westport, which was a great privilege for me, my family, and everybody involved. I, well, that had a bit of a shock to the big parties, was it? Uh, it was a big shock to the party, yeah, for well. uh, a community <laughs> person to, uh, to head the poll. And, uh, I did it because people had faith in me and mm. people believed in me and people believed in the work that I was doing was well, beneficial to their kids, beneficial to their yeah. less, less well off in Westport and the poorer section of the community which have a great interest in Westport. And do you think you got votes from the kids that you trained in football? Oh yeah. Probably yeah. did, yeah. Oh, naturally yeah. enough, yes, yes. Just be a lot of them, wouldn't it? There'd be a lot of them, but again, uh, there'd be a lot more, but immigration has played a big role in, in uh, the demi de uh, demise in the population in Westport because a lot of our young people have played in, in the sport in bike days and took part in other activities. They are now immigrated, they have gone to all over the world, like you know, and uh, to meet many of them and talk to many of them. And they, they love to come back to Westport. And so you were an independent, you were? All, all was an independent, yes, yeah. yes. All was and did any of the parties ever approach you to join oh, up yeah, with them? They did, yes, yes. They, yes. they approached me several times, like I mean, still, uh, particularly one particular party in Westport. But um, I said, no, I was elected yeah, as an independent yeah, and yeah. I would go out as an independent. And I certainly wouldn't have gone out this time either in the, in, in the last election if it wasn't for uh, the government policy of abolishing the local town councils. And did you have a, a policy of your own? How did you approach the council? You're working on the council. My, my, the way I always worked with the council was I cared for the less well off mostly, mm. cared for the young people. And what my motto was, my motto was always in the town council to help everybody make good promises but do everything possible. Yeah. Uh, promise but nothing but do everything. That was my policy in the council. It is, it is still my policy today as a community person because I'm very actively involved in so many things in the community. I'm proud to be involved in the community. And did you have anything to do with the development of the town, or the, the, the development plan for the structure of the town and oh, yes, expansion? Oh yes, I played my part in many crucial votes that was taken at the town council along with some other great councillors there, like you know what I mean, it was a, the council that was there 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it was in the made of big decisions for Westport to plan for the future. A lot of the town councillors now are not, no longer with us, God rest them, but uh, they laid the foundation stone and we carried it on. And if it wasn't for Phil Hogan and the government that will abolish the town council, I have to say, I'd still be a councillor today, mm. but I'm as good as a councillor today because I'm a community person and the young people I will look after the community, the elderly, the less well off, the lonely, the most vulnerable people in society, I will look after and I will do, always do my best for them. And again, my motto is, I will promise nothing, but I will do everything for the people, both young and old, in my community. Yeah. The other thing is, um, what was the biggest thing that happened in your in Westport in your time, in the 20 years you were in the council? What would you think was the biggest thing that ever happened? Yeah. The biggest thing that ever happened to me in the Westport Town Council was the night I was uh, elected as, a, as an independent councillor uh, to the chairmanship of Westport Town Council. Because prior to that, there was always a pact between Finney Gale, Finney Paul and Westport that they keep the independence out. But uh, the time came, thanks to uh, Councillor Brendan Moroy, I have to say, Councillor Adams, Councillor Declan Dever, and um, uh, David Ke uh, Councillor Keating at the time, and Councillor Keith Martin, they gave me the nod that night, they gave me the votes, and I defeated the Fine Gael nominee at that particular night, by uh, five votes to four. But it was an honour for me to become the Westport's first citizen, to serve the people of Westport, and I, 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 during that particular year I was chairman, i done 324 functions. Oh. I was out every night of the week, but I was there with the people, for the people, and in their good times, their bad times, their sad times. And I suppose, if you were to ask me what was the most thing, thing that appealed to me during my term as Westport Town Councillor, when I was chairman, was the sad farewell we had to give to uh, a young soldier uh, who had joined the British Army, Robbie McGibbon. He grew up in our club as a, as a young boy. He was involved in everything, mini rugby, hurling, mm. soccer, Gaelic, you name it, he was involved. Mm. But sadly, there was no employment here. He joined the British Army, which so many young Irish people has joined, which I fully approve of. 
and uh, sadly he was he was uh, on a tour of duty in Afghanistan at the time, and uh, poor lad was killed in a bomb explosion. Okay. And uh, his remains was brought home here to Westport, and I do appreciate his Westport's first citizen over that, and it was uh, one of the saddest days of my life to see uh, a young soldier from Westport killed in action in a, in a foreign land to uh, to be laid to rest in a war graveyard. What was the um Westport is a very successful town, right? Why, why would you weather that down to? Westport is a wonderful town because it's people. Mm. Everybody working, caring, sharing, giving. Everybody caring for each other. Westport Town Council played their role with the local tidy towns, the business people, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Mayo County Council, town, town manager, town officials. Everybody working for the good of the community. I was glad to be part of that, in the, in building Westport. And uh, to, to the day I die, I will always be part of making Westport a better place to live, a most wonderful place to live, and a better place to bring up our young children for sport, recreation, and everything. But the success of Westport is mainly down to its people because they cared about their town. And their town now is proven to be the tourist capital of the West. The, tour, the business, the most uh, successful business town in County Mayo, and we all played our part in that, each and every one of us, and, so, and I am very proud to have left that legacy there.